Gerard Murphy has spent a long time learning how to harness abundant energy potential from his local river. At one time there were over 1,200 water mills in Northern Ireland. This is but one example. Most of those mills are derelict and no turbines have been installed in them. In the past, those using the mill to process flax learnt how to harness the energy, so modern technology can do likewise. Using some of the infrastructure left in place from earlier times, Jared has introduced the latest technology to help him generate power for his house and to sell the excess onto the grid. Hydro has the advantage over other sources of renewable energy in that it has a load bearing factor of between 40 and 45 percent. This means that your hydro turbine will be operating 40 to 45 percent of the time compared to say wind which is in the low 20 percent load factor. For a successful micro hydro scheme, you need access to water, a head of water, volume of water, you'll need planning permission, water abstraction license, and other regulatory approvals. You'll also need to consider how you're going to use the electricity. The amount of power that is possible to generate depends on the head of water and the flow of the water. The head is measured from the crest of the weir here to where it returns to the stream after going through the turbine. A typical house uses less than 30 kilowatts of electricity per day, whereas a 10 kilowatt water turbine will produce in excess of 200 kilowatts. The best use of the energy is in your own home or business. In my case all my electrical needs are currently being met by the turbine and I hope shortly to convert my heating to electricity as well. This displaces the need to purchase expensive electricity from the grid. Jared was able to access support from government to purchase the equipment and he also earns an ongoing income from the ROC that are issued by the power companies. The cost of installing the system is calculated in energy potential. For a 10 kilowatt system you can expect to pay £4,000 per kilowatt installed. As the size of the system increases, this cost per kilowatt installed decreases. Financial support may be available through the Low Carbon Building Programme. Farmers can access funds through DARD. Businesses can get interest-free loans from the Carbon Trust. And some funding may be available through the Electricity Board. It's a good idea to bring in expertise to help you through the process, from assessing the potential of a site to specifying the best technology available. If you want help to assess your stream or river, you can contact us at hydroni.co.uk or follow the links on this website. HydroNI can offer you a consultancy service that will help you assess the potential of your stream, how much electricity it can generate, how much it will cost you to put a scheme in place. We can help you through the planning stages, we can do the construction for you and we can commission the scheme. Unlike wind, 
Water power is predictable. Long term data exists and it's very easy to model how much energy your system will produce and when it will produce it. And we in Northern Ireland are very well blessed with an abundant supply of rainfall.